What's up everyone, it's your boy Vaughn Levi from Building Beast and today I got a special video for all of you. Today I'm going to be going over how to mix vocals in the MPC 2.0 software. A lot of us do not even know that the MPC has a software. A lot of us know the MPC for being the classic outboard gear that people create beats on, but in the last five years, they have got into the software game, and now you can mix, master, record vocals, and make beats in the same DAW. This is my main DAW. I've been waiting to do a video on this, so I'm hyped. You should be hyped too. Let's get into it. Now, as you can see here, I'm here in the MPC Studio 2.0 software, and you can navigate between audio and MIDI in the MIDI section. This is where you lay on your drums, your samples, and you actually create the whole entire beat. In the audio section is where it turns into a DAW like Pro Tools, Logic, or uh, FL Studio, or whatever you're using to record your vocals. You can do that in here. Disclaimer, this song was a demo and it was created on this microphone right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is sprucing this up. This was not recorded on a condenser microphone just like this one. And I wanted to use this mic just to show you how you can really get in into your vocals and make it sound bright without doing too much to it, all right? So I'm going to show you my vocal chain and basically what a vocal chain is, the plugins that you use on your track when you're mixing and I'm gonna play it. This is what it sounds like, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so this is the track right here. I produced the beat, this is my guy Cook on the rhymes. You're not gonna really be able to hear anything, but I just wanna let you see how muddy it sounds up front and what we're gonna do to make this thing sound brighter. All right, so it just sounds loud and messy and it's a lot of things going on. So what I wanna do is bring y'all into the mixing channels of the MPC and show you how we can fix this thing up, all right? Great, so this is the MPC mixing channel. It looks really dope. We have my main audio here. I have my beat right here. I have my returns here, this is submixes, and this is my master output. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to go over how I actually start mixing the vocals. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna bring everything down. This is my drums, this is my sample. This is my ride. And I want to get a feel for where the drums are gonna be. And I'm gonna be looking at my outputs right here, which this is my master channel, just to see where it is. I don't want anything to go in the red, which is like six plus. I want it to be under three. So I'm gonna play it. Focus living. Everything is still below zero. I like that because I want some headroom. Bring my rides in. Hi hats. All right. Vocals sound good. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna hit save, and I'm gonna show you how I bring in my vocals, mix them up. Let's get into it. The next thing I wanted to do was do a little bit of EQing. So the way I do that is I'm going to be using 
a plugin by the name of Waves Renaissance EQ. This was made by the company Waves. No, this is not promo. I just really like their products and I'm using it for this demo today. So what I did was do a little bit of destructive EQ and I took out a lot of the muddiness from the mic by putting a shelf EQ and I put it to about 114. Then I went over and took out some of the mids around 500K and 200K. And this is what it sounds like now. Without with big difference so now the next thing i want to do is put a little compression on this so when he's rapping there are some words that sound lower there's some words that sound higher and when compression does it brings all of the vocals up to one main volume that stays in that same place so i use another waves pl plugin by the name of r compressor which is short for renaissance compressor and this is what it sounds like with off This is what it sounds like with it on. As you can see, I have my threshold down at 2.3. My threshold at 22.8. Have a real fast attack and a real fast release with a 6.5 gain, bringing up the vocals to a cool 6 dB above to what it is. If you don't know what any of this means, that's totally fine. All I'm doing is just raising the value and leveling out any nuances of the vocals that didn't sound high enough before. So I'm gonna let you listen to it again. This is what it all. This is what it sounds like at all. Big difference. So the next thing I did was I added a additive EQ to bring up some of the nuances and dynamics that was lost in the EQing and the compression. And this is all that I put on my vocal channel. I just put two EQs and a compressor. And then after that, I do a little bit of delay and a little bit of EQ, and that'll be all for my vocals. So as you can see, I have a shelf here at about 2K, that's like 1,245 hertz. And this is what it sounds like with it all. Been focused, living, daily talks of this is what it sounds like with it all. I've been focused, living, daily talks of quoting scriptures, approaching vision so clear when you stick and see the clothing stitches. Lately patterns and new habits, I've been so consistent. As the world turns, I keep you in the loop. Solar systems, solo tripping, baggage claim. Great, so now it's loud enough to where I can start bringing it down. So I'm gonna bring it down a little, little bit. So let's check this out. I've been focused, living daily, talks of quoting scriptures, approaching vision so clear when you stick and see the clothing stitches. So I added the additive, the destructive, and the compressor. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to give it some space. So what I did was I moved over to my returns and I went to the air reverb. This is a really good reverb that comes with the MPC software. And I have it on a vintage room with a small room size at 50%. And the way to access this is I'm gonna solo the track. And over here, I have it on my first return. I'm going to bring this all the way up and then start Dialing down some of the reverb. How the folk is living daily talks of court inscriptions, approaching vision so clear when you stick and see the clothing stitches. Lately, patterns and new habits. I've been so consistent as the world turns. I keep you in the loop. That sounds solar good. Systems, solo Let's solo it out. Baggage claim cook. That ain't a flex. That means in the mirror, I had to take a look and recalibrate. Moved out of state, only having what I took. Then had to find a way. No time to pray, but a ram was in the bush. Now all right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some delay. And the same thing, I'm gonna to go to 
my return to. I really like the stereo delay sync in MPC and the way to access that is you gotta go to delay, go down to delay sync and it's right there. These are the settings I have for it. I'm going to bring it all the way up to two and I'm gonna just start down and down. So solo. I've been focused, living daily, tossing, quoting, scriptures, approaching, vision. So clear when you stick and see the clothing stitches. Lately, patterns and new habits. I've been so consistent as the world turns. I keep you in the loop. Solar systems. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back to the mixer. I'm gonna unsolo. Let's see how it sounds the track. I've been focused, living daily, talks of cool and scriptures, approaching vision. So clear when you stare, can see the clothing stitches. Lately, patterns and new habits. I've been so consistent as the world turns. I keep you in the loop. Solar systems. Hit save again. I like how it sounds. Cool. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to glue this together by putting a limiter on it. And what the limiter does is it brings down the beat and it brings up the vocals to kind to glue things together. This is like the poor man's master. And I like doing this on demos. So when artists go back home and listen to it, they can see what it sounds like if it's kind of mastered. So when we actually mix it for real, we can have a baseline of what we want it to sound like. All right, so what I do is I'm gonna go to my output, my master track, and I have this limiter here, and I have it on, all it has is a threshold and a ceiling, and basically what the threshold does is it brings up everything and it levels out all of the nuances that are under this 3.4, DB. So this is what it sounds like together without it. I've been focused, living daily, talks of cool. This is what it sounds like with it. Vision so clear when you stick and see the clothing stitches. Lately, patterns and new habits. I've been so consistent as the world turns. I keep you. It just gives it a little bit of glue. Systems solo tripping. Baggage claim cook that ain't a flex that without? means in the mirror I had to take a look and recalibrate With. without a state only having what I took then had to find a way no time to pray but a ram was in the bush now I stand in and I push that's an acronym go look follow culture tags of course the bags got targets on the books only a part of what it took just to get to where I'm at so thank you for your concerns I'm only venting it all right so that is how you mixed vocals in the MPC. Thanks again for watching this video. My name is Vaughn Levi, and this is how to mix vocals in MPC 2.0. If you would like to know more about the MPC, about mixing vocals, or anything around the MPC world, make sure you leave a comment in the comment box, and I'll make some more videos. If you wanna know more about building beats, make sure you like and follow us on social media at Building Beats and visit us on our website at www.buildingbeats.org. Again, my name is Vaughn Levi. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm out of here.